Since 1994, say fast and more, our reliable name, MixCat.com. Happy Thanksgiving Day. Um, I'm at home here with my uh, laptop that I picked up uh, a couple weeks ago. Um, this is a Toshiba um, L355D S like Sam 7815. When I got this unit, um, it did not have a webcam. It's a 17 inch screen, big screen, um, but no webcam. Love the laptop. That was really my only complaint. And as you guys know, I put up a lot of videos and wanted a webcam and didn't want to carry around one and clip it on the top or what have you. Um, what I ended up doing is looking on eBay and I found um, someone that actually had a, uh, it was an S7810, I believe, um, which is a model under it. A little bit slower, um, but does have a webcam. Uh, he had a broken motherboard, so I ended up picking it up real cheap. So I got the screen with the bezel and the webcam. So great bargain. What I ended up doing is um, I swapped out the screen, I ran all the cables, was excited about plugging everything in, and I found out that it actually did not have a socket for the webcam on the board and does not have a socket for the sound. So that kind of set me back. Um, what I ended up doing is soldered a little connector onto the board. Um, the webcam actually runs USB. So I figured if I couldn't catch it on the board where the um, webcam is supposed to go into, I'd be able to use one of the USB ports and just hot wire it in there. Um, that did work out well. Now I'll show you guys that in a couple minutes here. What I ran into is the microphone's not working. Um, it does have a mic port in the front. So, ah, excuse me. Okay. Um, Right over here, you can see I kind of cut a little notch out of that, and I will clean it up a little bit. This is where I plugged in the webcam. Um, the model uh, before it actually did have this in the board already, the little socket. So what I did was I desoldered it, and I soldered it into this board. Um, and after doing that, it came alive. Um, I, I figured, I'd because I have USB on this side, I would have to hot wire into the USB port. But being that was there, very, very handy. Um, there was a port that's over by the sound that I plugged in for the um, on the screen here has got actually a, a microphone. Plug that in, but it's not live. It doesn't detect the microphone, so I'm probably going to have to solder it into where the uh, mic in port is on the front. But I'll, I'll show you guys that in a minute. I'm going to disassemble okay, on this it. particular model. You're going to want to take uh, this ribbon and this ribbon off. The top ribbons for the buttons on the top, and the bottom ribbon here is the PS2 for the touchpad. Um, over here on the far left is actually the power button. And I get all the bolts out on the bottom. And maybe I got one still catching here. Let's see here. And I got something catching. Yep, one more. Yeah, it's a great model. It actually comes with Vista. I'm not a Vista fan. I put Windows 7 on it. Um, it's a 64-bit dual-core AMD chip, which runs fantastic with the uh, Windows 7. I've really been enjoying this. I used to have a Sony Vio, and um, I was kind of thinking I was probably going to buy another Vio, but this came along, and I couldn't turn it down. 17-inch screen. Um, everything's laid out real nice. Uh, it stays cool for an AMD. But uh, here's where I actually... Let me kind of turn the camera a little bit. Uh, there we are. This is where the webcam comes in from the top, and you run that behind the screen. It comes across, down, and into here. Let me zoom in for you guys. Here's a quick shot of the webcam port right there, and we just uh, soldered that down. And on the other side, we did the microphone. Okay, this is the one that I soldered in. Um, I, again, this is a, a USB video. And if this wasn't here, on this particular model, again, this is the uh, L355D-S7815, uh, the 10 and the 20, um, that 7820, 7810, does have the webcam. Um, so if you look online and you find the bezel and the webcam, you, you can make a, a project out of it. And it, this is the same type of procedure you do on any other laptop that didn't have a webcam. You run the cables through, and if it doesn't have it on the board that it was an option, um, you can go into a USB port. 
just bear in mind you're not going to be able to use that USB port afterwards. And this is where the mic goes into. Um, I'm going to try to rerun this cable. Um, the mic in is actually, let me see here, yeah, right here. That's the mic in. So I'm going to run a trace across that for the mic in. And I'm going to try another uh, lead on this side and see what we get. Okay, um, as you might be able to see, it right now for microphone, it says none. If I plug in this uh, phone plug, it shows up microphone on the top. Test, test, and you can actually see the audio uh, scrolling back and forth on that. So we're going to figure out which pin activates the microphone. But as you can see, our microphone implants a success. Okay, I think I actually figured it out. It's on the far right here. I'm going to touch it. There we go. Test, test. And you see it says microphone. Now I'm going to let go of the wire. Test, test. And it's gone. Perfect. Uh, let me tip the camera down so you can see what I'm talking about. Okay, what we're going to do is solder a jumper from this pin to this pin. Right there. It's the far right to bottom up pins and that's when it sees a dead short across that it activates the microphone and we already have our audio lead so as soon as I run a little pigtail to that we'll be in good shape and you can see where I did the little uh, dead short just a little bit of solder on both sides and a little straight wire now I'm going to move these guys back and we're in good shape it's ready to put back together and we got a webcam with microphone and there we go Got the camera going. There I am. Hello, guys. Since 1994, save fast and more. Our reliable name, mixcat.com.